about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Muggerwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 192, NASDAQ up 56, S&P's up 19, gold contract up $9.10, trading at 1747 an ounce. You get silver up six cents, fifteen dollars forty cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up three dollars twelve cents, sixteen dollars ninety two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, ten year right now down one tick, one thirty nine flat. Thirty year up a half a point, or sixteen ticks at one eighty one fifteen. And king dollar, king dollar is up fifty four ticks, trading one hundred point four forty one. The euro is at one oh seven. The yen is out here at one oh seven at point six four, and the British pound is at one twenty three to one U S dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you got a little volatility out here today. Uh, these wrenches come out of nowhere. And we had out here in, in the, this afternoon, you got up to a price point of 2836. Um, at, uh, let's see, uh, well, yeah, 1240 uh, p.m., what you did, you had a story come out uh, about Gilead, that the, uh, over, the test over in China was a failure, et cetera, the whole ball of wax. That took the S&Ps uh, down about as fast as you can go. Uh, we went down at 30, let's see, 30, yeah, 30, 44 points. Um, tested it again, bottom line, rejected it on the first test. What I expect you're going to see here, folks, I suspect we're going to, sell off into the close. Now, the reason I'm saying that, if we go over to the SPY, what you're going to see is this, is that yesterday what we had done, you went to higher price, you had a monster contraction of volume, bottom line, we're going to have another one today. Um, you know, we are coming into 146 million shares. Yesterday you did 86, no, you did 94, 93, Today, we're already at 84, so we should do 100, but the bottom line, you should be banging out like 150, 160 in order to sustain higher price, and the, the, the demand is just not there. Inside the NDX 100, same type of setup, and inside the NDX, you know, bottom line, we should be banging out at something like 60, 65 million shares. Right now, you're at 36. Yesterday, we did 40. At the queues, they'll, they'll probably do about 40, 45. Uh, and what I expect you're going to see in both cases now is that you won't hold price also. And not holding price, folks, in this particular case, I'm not talking about on the highs. I'm talking about you won't even hold price of the highs of yesterday. So inside the queues, that number is 212.35. That was the high of yesterday, even though we had given it up. You, we got over it. I suspect we're going to close under it. If we go over to the SPY, what you're going to see, that number inside of the SPY is going to be 281 flat. And right now you're at 280.59. So it's going to be wild watching this uh, the whole thing shake out. We go into the gold contract, gold contract out here today. We hit uh, 1764. Right now you're at 1747. You've got 191,000 contracts traded. Bottom line is that gold wants higher price. You get the equities wanting higher price. If we go take a look at the GDX, you get 42 million shares inside the GDX. You're going to have, it's not going to be an ABC structure up. Uh, they will put some monster volume in at the close in the GDX. We take this on, on the weekly, though. What you are, are going to see is that I believe we get the break top side. Let me see what that number is. The number that we need to get a stay over, yeah, we have it. So the GDX, folks, is trading 33.53. That has launched the seven-year consolidation that we're, we've been in. And that's a big number because that's saying the GDX next move up is going to be somewhere about 47 to 53, and right now you're at 33. And I know that's a very large number, folks, when you just say that, okay, you're going to move from there to there. But if you want to see how fast these large numbers have come inside these gold equities, I'll bring a couple up for you just to show you. Uh, if we go back into Newmont, what you're going to see inside Newmont, Newmont broke top side two weeks ago. When it broke top side, we're talking $44. It's trading 62. Barrick just broke this week. That broke top side. So those are the two largest gold equities in the world. Uh, bottom line, Garrett, Barrick is trading at $26.91. That break, which has been this week, 
$23. And Barrick is, bottom line, saying, you know, 37.43 is coming at us, and you're at 26.91 right now. So you're talking about some uh, very heavy numbers. There's no two ways about that. Notes. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year flat out that 133.01. The 30-year right now is up 20 at 181.19 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up that 28 ticks, trading 100.417. Uh, bottom line, what I expect we're going to see out here, let's go into the NQs for a second. If we go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs. NQs out here right now, you're up 28 points. We had a high out here today of 87.86. Uh, so that's 120 points higher than we were. Uh, I expect this is also going to go right after the lows, which is 86.05. So you're talking about another 60 points down. We're alive in the green by 30. Uh, I think it's going to be a wild 60 minutes uh, as we uh, shake out here. Some of the higher volume equities, and this will be a low volume market out here today, uh, is that you have snapped down 64 cents. Uh, let's see, American Airlines is up 5 cents. You got Carnival up uh, 42 um, nothing, nothing really heavy. Yeah, well, no, Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil's up a buck forty-two. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You get Sirius Satellite up six percent. Expedia's up three percent. Net NTAP, uh, NetApp is up uh, three point two. Taken away from it. Citrix down six point three. This is this is always a heads up, folks. When the chip stocks can't handle it, on the way up and they give it up. Guess what? Heavy pressure inside the NDX 100, as well as the composite. Uh, they love bringing the market up, bringing the market down. So Citrix is down 6.5%. You got uh, Xilinx down 4%. You get Starbucks down 3.7%. We're going to take a look at the, uh, oh, Intel, INTC. That's coming out with numbers today. Let's take a look. Thanks, Jeff. So uh, INTC. So this is going to get interesting. So Intel trading down 58 cents. They, that's been a sideways move. They're going to be looking, let's see what they're looking for. 23rd already. They're going to be looking for 18.8 .8 billion to the top line, a buck 28 uh, coming down. Stay right there, folks. Good out, man. Mr. Jason Path coming back with us. We're going to be bisecting and dissecting some of these sectors inside the marketplace out here. Come right back.